Hi, Floss Tube. Good morning. It is Tuesday, May 12th, and I'm back for another quick little daily vlog to show you where I got to on my splendid turkey yesterday and spin the wheel to see what today's start's going to be. So, yesterday I spun my foreshore mania start wheel and got this fantastic bird, Strutting Tom. And uh, he came, I got him as a kit. Uh, I pre-ordered him from Nashville and he came with like, look guys, I did the floss. Yesterday they did not look this nice. So he came with the three weeks dye works flosses that you needed, like pre-cut lengths. And then you also needed some DMC. So there's all the colors and I'll show you where I got to. I feel like I got good progress on this um, and once again this is just going to be a quick couple day finish when I get back to it I mean I just laugh because I feel like that about every single one of these projects <laughs> is that I'm going to come back to it and just finish it up super fast but I'm serious about some of these so here we go there it is I got all of his like main body done in the one uh variegated floss and this guys I just could not put it down this was so fun to stitch this pattern I mean I definitely needed a highlighter for my working copy but so so fun um so that is all of that all is this week's dye works battleship um color now there's a little bit more of that color down here and that's it but I will say I was pretty frugal and thoughtful with my floss, so there was not a lot of waste. Um, there's definitely enough floss in the kit, but you couldn't waste any, that's for sure. Like I did this in diagonals, came down, came back up, so that I didn't have to double back or anything. Um, and there's not gonna be a lot of this left over. So if you have the kit, just know that. Um, I feel like I was pretty frugal with my floss and there's going to be enough, but just enough. It makes me a little worried about this is weak style work cinnamon twist, which is this whole area. This is just solid with this week style work cinnamon twist. So I'm really hoping that I have enough there. I should, um, but it does make me wonder do you guys think in your experience is, and I never remember which way is continental and which way is English or whatever. Um, does it take less floss to go all like half crosses one direction and then cross them coming back? I feel like that takes less floss than crossing each X, in which case I may do that even though it's variegated because I think you'll still get great variegation going all the way across and coming back. And if that takes less floss, I might do that with his little rump in this cinnamon twist just to make sure I have enough. I always get nervous on kit floss. I don't know why. Um, so anyway, so that's Strutting Tom. He is fantastic and gorgeous, and I will be very excited to get back to him. So that was yesterday's start. So today, we get to spin the Possible Mania start wheel to see what today's going to be. And you guys, I, I don't know if it's because I obviously I'm on the free version. This is set to be a non-recurring wheel. Both of them are. But it seems like that only works if you keep spinning and don't close it. I don't know. So I've had to just delete things off the wheel as they've come up. <clears throat> so that's why you don't see anything blacked out. Sorry, I'm pre-coffee, so the voice is still a little scratchy. So that's why you don't see anything blacked out on the wheel. Um, but let's see what today's going to be. <gasps> Ooh, Star Spinkled Spectacular. Oh, I am so excited that this one came up. Okay, I'll go get it, and we'll show you that project. Okay, so here is Star Spangled Spectacular. It is the newest um, one of the Souvenirs of the Heart series by With Thy Needle and Thread. 
I actually have all three. So the fall is autumn in Amana. The winter one, I'm blanking on the name, but it has cute little uh, starlight mints on it. And this is the newest one that came out at market. And so um, I thought I would start this one first since there's possibility it could get finished in time to be displayed this year. Um, it calls for 28 count mushroom Lugana one over one. And I'm going to give that a try. I'm going to give that a try. So here's the materials for it. Um, I have, this isn't mushroom. I had some, I believe it was 28 count bone that I got from Wayside Stitchers D stash. Um, it didn't have a tag on it and I didn't like screenshot the listing, but it's either 25 or 28. My recollection was it was 28 count bone. Uh, I tea coffee dyed some for this one. I did enough for autumn and Amana. Um, I might do another color for the winter one, but we'll see. So I think it came out really well and I'm going to use all the called for flosses. <coughs> Sorry about that guys. A girl came tromping down the stairs and the dog went to go see who was tromping down the stairs. So, um, I'm going to do this with the called for colors on my tea coffee dyed either 25 or 28 count even weave, but I think it's 28. And this will be my very first project, 28 one over one. So we'll see how it goes. I know a lot of people do it and then love it. Um, so we'll see how, how I like that and how far I get. But that's going to be today's project, Star Spangled Spectacular. So I hope you guys are having a good beginning of your week. And I will be back tomorrow to uh, show you how I did on this one. Until then. Take care. Have fun stitching. Bye.